can code create a masterpiece? Well, before we get into the argument about whether or not a computer program could generate something we would consider to be art, let's just remind ourselves of what art really is. Let's look at how creative humans can be. So, I mean, everything from pop music right through to the kind of classical music that things like the Ulster Orchestra would play, that's all art. And humans have produced some incredibly beautiful pieces of music. So, for example, let's just have a quick listen to this piece of music. I mean, isn't that nice? I mean, just listen to this. That is a nice piece of art. And is it possible that one day a computer could write a piece of music as nice as this? Well, in fact, yes, a computer can, and a computer already has, because this piece of music was written by a computer. A computer named IAMUS. At the University of Malaga, they programmed a computer that wrote this piece of music. It turns out, yes, computers can produce art. Music is a good place to start because computers are getting pretty good at it. We've had concerts put on where the orchestra has played some music written by code and some music written by humans and the audience haven't been able to tell the difference. Not just that, computers have written poetry, novels, screenplays. There's even a robot that can play the drums. At Queen Mary University of London, they built a robot named Mortimer that can listen to someone playing a piano and it can play along in time on a drum kit. So how do these computers do it? Well, of course, humans have to program them to then be creative, but they give the program some choice. So for the case of Mortimer, the drum playing robot, he's got a database of all different types of drum playing in different styles and different examples. When he listens to music, he goes through his database and calculates which next drum beat has the highest probability of sounding good. And it works. He can then play along, someone plays the piano, and together they make creative music. Before we decide whether or not something that's computer generated is art, we have another question to deal with, which is, why bother? I mean, writing code so computers can be creative is really difficult, when humans find being creative really easy. But that's the whole point. It is difficult, and that's why we try and do it. By trying to write code so computers can think and do creative things, we develop better and more efficient ways of writing programs. We also develop much higher skilled programmers. It means code as a whole gets better. It also makes it easier to use. The point of Mortimer, the drum playing robot, is to do research in how computers interact with humans. And if we can have robots and programs that are easier for humans to use, that's better for everyone. But is it art? Well, to truly answer that question, the only way to go about it is to ask a computer. There is a computer program called Cleverbot. Cleverbot has been online since 1997, and as it has conversations with people, it learns how to get better at answering. It's now had over 150 million different conversations, and if you go on and try and talk to it, it takes fragments from all those old conversations and tries to piece together creative answers. And so I thought, let's just ask it. We'll give it a go. Okay, Cleverbot. Can code create a masterpiece? Sure. Okay, well that's concise and to the point. Cleverbot, can you give me an example? For example, Dark and League of Legends. Okay, so there is a little way to go before computers can be truly intelligent and we need a new generation of cunning programmers and people writing genius code to make it possible.